Tonight on Big Brother's Starlight Challenge, the housemates dress up, act up, and round up some of Australia's biggest names to produce the best panto ever. Why? To raise mountains of money for their favourite charity, the Starlight Children's Foundation. So let's get straight on with the show with your hosts, Bert Newton and Rove McManus. Obviously someone's arrived, Rove. Yes, they'll be disappointed when they find out it's us. And it is us. Rove McManus and Bert uh, Newton. Newton, isn't yes. it? Yes. Like and we're here tonight to open officially... Uh, the Big Brother Starlight Challenge for the uh, Starlight Children's Foundation. There, I got it all in one breath. It's got... Well, I love you too. Oh, yeah, there you go. He just feels the need to see other people. Rover's, Rover's been signing autographs for the last half an hour, let me mm. tell you. I had a bit of an autograph problem, though. I chased one kid and made him take it. <laughs> it's going to be a terrific night. It's isn't going it? to be a big Whose night. idea of... was it? It was Ben's, of course, the winner of Big Brother, and of course, the best panto ever, starring all the Big Brother housemates, will be starting tonight. We should probably catch up with Ben, see how he's going. Here's Ben. Hi everyone, it's Ben from Big Brother here. Since I've left the house, I've gained a little bit of celebrity status and I thought it'd be a great idea to put it to a bit of good use. What we're doing is we're helping out the people from the Starlight Children's Foundation. Great bunch of kids, great bunch of people. Now let me get dressed while you guys have a look. The Starlight Children's Foundation in Australia touches the lives of some 200,000 seriously ill kids and their families every year. through the Starlight Express rooms, the Starlight vans which reach the kids in remote areas, and their core goal, the granting of wishes. One of the guys from a drum store that I go to all the time, he goes to me, I've got something for you downstairs. So he went downstairs, he came back up with the V-drum, which was really cool. We sort of pushed the cloud away and we let in blue sky and sunshine for a short time. And it not only is great for the kid, but it's, uh, but it's terrific for the family. It's a wonderful cause to allow these kids to have a, a dream to be fulfilled. You know, a hope. He just kept, you know, wanting this thing and it kept him going all the way through. Hey, man! How's it going, baby? Well, we've got a very special visitor in the City Children's Hospital and I think he's a friend of yours. How are you, mate? How are you, big fella? Yeah, Good, buddy. What's happening? How famous are you? You are on camera, mate. <laughs> on TV. <laughs> well, How's every you? time I've come in here, I always see Ben and I always have a bit of a laugh to him. He's, he's one of the happiest people I've ever met. Let the challenge begin! <laughs> now, there's only one rule in the Starlight Express rooms. No doctors or nurses allowed ensuring a space where the kids can just be kids, if only for a while. Also we have um, a TV station, which basically broadcasts right throughout the hospital. So what that means is that we can go on TV, talk to the kids, we can play interactive games over the TV so that even if kids can't get out of bed and come and see us, then, you know, we can, they can still be involved. Melinda, you know what it is? <laughs> right now there are five starlight rooms in Australia with many more needed across the country. And that's where you come in. Money raised tonight will go to kitting out a bunch of new Starlight rooms, getting more Starlight vans on the roads, and perhaps most importantly, the granting of wishes to seriously ill kids. We completely rely on the donations from the public and from corporations. So everyone who's you know, on the program today and donating, we thank you very much because every dollar that you send in, it's, it's going towards helping a kid. If you can donate money to such a good cause, you are really helping these kids and you're making them a lot happier. And a lot, what a lot of people don't realise is happiness is the best cure for them. Sometimes chemo or rehab or something can't be as good as for them having a laugh because when they perk up, they're a lot more positive and their health really does reap the rewards. Apart from the fact it's going to be a lot of fun, just mm. seeing that stuff there with Ben, 
It's such a worthy cause, and uh, I mean, there are two sides to this night, aren't there? A lot of fun with the panto coming up and so forth, but also helping such a worthy cause. Well, yes, of course, and uh, people at home can start donating now uh, for the Big Brother Starlight Challenge on 1300 650 245. Um, and of course, the, the, the pantomime that's coming up, the best pantomime ever, was all Ben's idea, and he's rallied all the Big Brother kids, and we should probably take a look sure. at how he did it. Why not? No, Flick, I'm not going to sleep with you. Flick, no. No, I'm not going to sleep with you. Oh, Benny. Benny, how's it going? Yeah, good, mate. Just uh, practicing some lines. You want me to do what? Be in a pantomime? Mate, I'm a serious actor. I can't do that. Oh, a pantomime? Oh, sure. Hello. Hey, Ben. No, everything's fine. I'm chopping onions, you idiot. Yeah. Count me in. See my... Yeah, that'd be cool. Mate, can you make sure I'm in more than one scene this time? Do I have to do the bum dance? No, it's not a good time. Can I wear my gloves? Sure, let's do it. I'm going to play the handsome prince. Oh, you better count me in then. All right, mate. See ya. Playing the handsome prince. Yes, Flick, I will sleep with you. They're all together, Rove. Uh, which is a total relief. They have made it. Uh, well, I imagine if Ben didn't get everybody. Well, exactly. Where would the pantomime be? Well, He yeah. could do it by himself. What's it called again? It's the best pantomime ever, Bert. And I'm told that it's, it's the correct title for us, all rehearsals this afternoon. And frankly, I've not seen anything better since War and Peace. <laughs> uh, nor anything quite as long. But it's, uh, no, it's, uh, it's going to be a great pantomime. So there's no pressure on the kids at all if it's no. going to be the best ever. That's Actually, right. I did catch up with Ben uh, during the rehearsals, and uh, he gave me uh, 25, a cheque for $25,000. Well, by an amazing coincidence, uh, the, the 10 Network heard this was going to happen from Ben, which is a lovely thought by mine, a terrific oh, yes, gesture. Yes. Thank you, Ben, so much for that. That'll get a lot of phones ringing. The, the ten, Network 10 would like to match that, so it's $25,000. You are joking. No, it's coming out of my pay, I'm, I'm told. But it's $25,000 <laughs> from the Network, so it's a great start, as I say. So that's $50,000 we have to uh, kick the challenge off. Let's see how you can do Australia. We're going to cross to Tully Wilde's Sammy Lucas and Boyd Duff at the AGL Starlight Challenge Call Centre to see how the donations are coming in. Thank you guys. Well, I consider myself the luckiest girl alive tonight, working with the three biggest spunks on Australian television, Bert Newton, Dreamboat, Rove, oh, don't mind if I do, and my totally wild partner in crime, it's Boydie oh, Duff. Oh, thanks, Sammy. <laughs> very sweet, very sweet, but very true, very true, folks. Sammy, what a great start. 50,000 smackaroonies. A great start to the Big Brother Starlight Challenge, but of course the challenge has only just begun, folks. The night is still young, Boyd. That's right. Dial the AGL Starlight hotline on 1300 650 245, and Sammy and I will be coming to you live from the AGL call centre here in North Sydney for regular we'll, updates. We'll be here all night. We've got 130 phone lines here. In fact, wait a second, Boydie. Did you forget to turn your mobile off? I hear a phone ringing. Oh, I'm sorry. Off, oh, how embarrassing. Golden rule of television. Hello. Sammy, it's for you. <laughs> it's for you. I'm not putting my face in there. See you soon, guys. I don't blame you. Back to you. Look, can we ring you back? We're kind of busy. Um, Thank you, Boyd. Thank you, Sammy. They're going to do a great job there, I hope they? so, yes. Otherwise, we won't get any calls at all. Well, exactly. And don't forget, ring through. Oh, hello. The housemates. Ooh. They sound quiet. Mm. Five minutes to leave the dressing room.